Anonymous Quacker, then come big big B! Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Welcome one, welcome all! To slay the princess. A self-proclaimed meta horror game where you uh fall in love with the princess. <laughs> oh, what kind of slayer are we doing? Uh, 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 pussy slaying, am I right, lads? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Sh Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Eating Mike Tyson's ass and we're like a pee pee. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing game, not gonna lie. Is it? Is it? I've been I've been holding off on watching other people uh play it. Cause I saw I saw Fana played it. Rubber dub dab thing come pee pee. I saw I saw Fow Fow. She played it. But I haven't I haven't watched anybody else play it yet. I haven't watched anybody else play it. I think I think the introductory screen is probably a uh good introduction. <laughs> For the vibes. Ember played it. Yeah, and Ember played it. Fauna's playthrough was great. Jelly's also played it. Uh, send on in number one thing with the five dollars. Slay the Peppa! I watched Manly play some of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been playing it. Is this like Rito of a healer? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Rabbit thing come baby. Oh, Slay the Princess. I thought this was a different game. Luis Gonzalez and come For some reason, my YouTube says you started four hours ago. Just me? YouTube's been doing some weird changes. Have you guys noticed that when you go to a YouTube page now, there's like recommended videos at the top? It's made me want to go back and unlist some of my older streams. Because it's like when you go to when you go to a YouTube page, it's like recommended for you, and it'll show like a bunch of older videos and stuff. But I don't want people watching like the really old streams. Like I don't mind if they do, but I don't want that to be somebody's first introduction to my channel. Arcadia thing I'm gonna be oh pink yeah but a phase world what is your wisdom been a great month whoa ah uh, sure I think I'm gonna be egg and closed one year like everything everything from like the first my first year it's like I don't know I just I just I don't I don't want that to be I don't want that to be people's first introduction it's been recommending old videos for like a year now I've been getting recommended so many like older videos it's actually really annoying. Because there are people that I watch consistently. And I always want to watch their new uploads. But YouTube doesn't give me their new uploads. It gives me like all of their old ones. And it's just, it's just, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Because it's like, it's like they'll have a new video come out. And the only way YouTube will show it to me is if I see it within like the first like 24 hours. If I, if I don't click on it within like the first 24 hours, it just completely disappears and it'll keep recommending me stuff from like two years ago. It's so fucking weird. I actually, I actually went through my YouTube feed and I was looking at all of like the dates on the uploads. And it's like, it like says like uploaded two years ago, uploaded one year ago. And like 90% of all the shit on my YouTube feed was from one to two years ago. Notification thing, Redendolors. How is it that the incest cannibalism game has 200k viewers and is your most viewed video? Also, I'm catching up on the old videos. Please don't take them down. I wouldn't private them. I'd probably just unlist them so they don't pop up in the main uh, carousel, but... I also... I don't know. I don't know how the coffin of Andrew and Lele wide is at 200k views. I don't know how that's my most watched VOD. Like, that's fucking insane. Uh, Julian Vargas ain't gonna be Anti Annihilator ain't gonna be Afraid they might miss the old Pippa. Oh my god. Uh, Greg the Cool Nerd thing with Lars. Hey Pippa, I just wanted to say that your streams have really helped me through tough times this year. Thank you for what you do. Thank you, thank you. I hope things get better for you. Ah, uh, the Alabama memes are strong. I'm listening for a separate playlist is fine as long as they're accessible. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty good stream. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Because incest, yeah, they're all just degenerates. Tumblr girls slash coomers. It's just surprising to me that that has more views than like the Hogwarts stream. Joshua, then come to be. All right, I'm gonna start on this. Uh, is there anything for the Lord's wish YouTube had to only recommend new videos from channel options? Same. A shame. Chapter one: The hero and the princess. 
You're on a path oh, in the woods. It's narrated. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in oh. the basement of that cabin is a princess. My eyes burn regular in Gumbi Pee Pee. Uh, get real in the world in Gumbi Pee Pee. Pippin Love! Whoa! It's, uh, Parallax, right? This is what this is called? Parallax? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh. Explore. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Wait, there's so many options! There's so many options! What the hell? How are there so many? Oh god, my eye burns. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Thanks, I've always wanted Alpha Mar Monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue the cabin, turn around and leave. GG Gamer Link, I'm gonna be killing time. Okay, this is my favorite option in every game. I, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know it's stupid, but this is, when, when the game gives you the option to just fuck off, I always have to try. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? <laughs> Do you even know where you're going? I don't. Can't I just go back the way I came from? Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and I'll slay the princess. Eh! Since you asked. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin and I'll take... I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't. We'll see. <laughs> Lie! Yes, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. I'm gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. Finally, continue down the path away from the cabin. Oh, let's have main character energy. Let's quietly walk down the path away from the cabin. Huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, because I'm because I'm main character. But what we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. I love it when the moral option in stories. This is sarcasm, by the way. But I love it. Have you guys have you guys noticed that with some movies? When you actually, like, break down, like, the moral, it's like, don't kill one person, kill 50,000 people. Because as long as you are not doing the killing, you're a good person. And it's like, what? I always hated that shit. I always fucking hated that so much. All of them, it's not every, it's not, it's not all of them, but it's like, it's just so, it's so uh, simple-minded. Ignore that annoying little voice, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Tape shit morality. Mm -hmm. It looks like this path ah! also leads to the cabin. What the fuck? How convenient. Everything no! Again. Maybe the world can still be saved after No! Ah. Turn around again and leave again. Okay, okay, I'm going into the cabin. She's no! really keen on wasting everyone's time. Yeah! It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. You're I've selfish. I've outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Oh, as opposed to dying temporarily, idiot. RB Grizzly Dangle Blade. Pips, will you do a part two of the incest game when it releases? Of course. Also, okay, okay. Not to be, like, stupidly petty, all right? But I watched this terrible, god-awful rom-com movie where it's got, like, this chick. I don't remember her name, but she's, like, an author of, like, of, of like, Indiana Jones-type novels, right? And, um... The, the love interest guy, he's like a bumbling idiot, but he's supposed to be like, he's like Fabio, right? Sensor Dr. Damon Five Dollars, DM railroads you, yeah. Um, and, and so, and so the, the bumbling idiot male lead at one point, he's like, oh no, they're gonna turn you into like a human mummy or some shit like that. And then like, and then like the other characters around him are like, uh, mummies are human, idiot. And that so annoyed me. It so annoyed me. I, I I don't know why I'm like still frustrated by this. Sandra Bullock? Was it Sandra Bullock? I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's like a himbo. And it's like mummies don't have to be human. What the fuck? Ancient Egyptians, they fucking mummified like cats and shit. 
They would mummify their pets to take them to the afterlife with them. It was so stupid. It's like, I hate it when stories pretend to be smart, right? They're like shitting on a character for being stupid. And it's like the story itself is fucking dumb. It's so stupid. I hate that shit so much. That's why I couldn't, en I I couldn't enjoy uh, Sherlock by BBC. Okay, I don't care. I'm not killing princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me as a woods and asking me to kill someone for them. Uh, you're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Quietly continue down the path. Down the path, away from the cabin? Welcome back there, Dolores. That's why no one cares about rider striking. So Silence true. Is deafening. But fine. You turn around, <laughs> trek back down the path you came. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? No! The cabin again. Now, I'm not normal no! superstition or astrology, but I have to say, <laughs> it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation the princess. Oh my god, we're like fated lovers. There's no fighting this, is there? If I have to go to the cabin? Oh, I have to go to the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again! In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this There's place. Choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived as well as for everyone who ever will. Well, they're not there's not going to be anyone who ever lives in the future if I let the world end, idiot, so... <laughs> and here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. They're building doors. This game is self-aware, Pecan Piva. First, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Babe is going again, thing on 149. But as you focus on oh. your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. And turn it up a little bit. So should I move myself more? There we go. Wait, what's going on? too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you yeah. do about the fate of the world. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Norker, I think I'm Big PP. Uh, PK scratching and Lord, you just reminded me the only two games I've ever rage quit in life was due to an intellectually hypocritical storytelling where the writing sucked ass. Ooh, I drop a lot of games just because the combat sucks. Can I cuddle thing for the Lord, we're breaking the conditioning! You've doomed us all. You know that, right? Yeah. But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Wow, I'm on a bit of a time limit, aren't I? Well, Gremlin ain't gonna be slay the Pip Princess. Huh? Wait, we can actually continue? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path what? is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. He sounds more serious now. Oh, I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. You weren't kidding, she actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard! You're in for it now! I'm wise to your tricks! But I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. Lie. Yep, okay, heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to sleep the princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. And silent pre proceed to the cabin. I'm gonna lie this time! I'm gonna be a liar! You know I can tell when you're lying. No! Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I, uh, uh, roll of perception! A warning <laughs> before you go any further. Ah, RP Grizzly thing with Dolores. Rebel against narrator. Break the conditioning. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Oh. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Uh? Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's go. Keep an open mind. Proceed into the cabin. Oh! Big boy! Bebop fingers, Dolores. 
Irritate him again. He's a jerk. He is a jerk. The cabin interior Whoa. is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors what all connected fuck? across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. This is weird. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched oh. on that table is a pristine blade. Gerald thinks that Mars Lily got the exact same path as me. I got noise and give her the two dollars. Rabbit made the computer game mad. Why would be arguing with Mars? I had predictions on how your cannon run would go, but I underestimated the power of oppositional defiance disorder. <laughs> the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If mm. he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Oh, check mod chat. Mod chat. Hold on. No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect mm. and okay. no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. Not when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. There's a lot of fucking talking and a lot of voices in my head. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Uh, the boys are the contrarian to annoying. Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. I know I am. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I don't like the boys are the hero you're either. Stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Oh my god, you talk too much. Okay, I'm fine. Shut Good. up. Good. Now, whenever you're ready... Shut up. Okay, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade, enter the basement. Oh, I didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Oh, the wind people, we are the only voices in your head that matters. Bahama thing with the five dollars, Donovan thing doors, take your meds, bit by now! What's up, the mirror? We should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's two windows! And, like, branches. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. Oh my god, shut up! Okay, hold on. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? I also want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. It doesn't matter. Approach the mirror. Or remain silent. I'm going to approach the mirror. Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Now there's a mirror. This really isn't funny. This is what happens when you reuse maps, DM! Reach forward and rub your hand against the Why am I a bird? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Am I an Aarakocra? But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. We're a reptile. Are we? Maybe we're at Cobalt. I like playing Cobalts. They're silly. Um... Well, let's grab the, the blade base from the knife. The table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Probably not a bird. Okay, it has fine. feathers? You took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. You are How so are annoying! Oh Another my god. Way. Thumb at the bottom. You look much cooler. No, shut up. Shut up. I'm at the bottom of the blade. But then that's like... Then we can only do, like, downward strikes effectively. 
Which I guess does have, like, more momentum, but it also makes it more difficult to, like... To Rip. attack and defend Keep with. Your grip the way it is. Your task awaits. <laughs> Draw the blade out the window! <laughs> yes! Do it! Yeah! Uh, you <laughs> throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. It's okay, women are uh, prone to uh, emotional abuse. It'll be fine. What's the worst we can, that could happen? We can control happens. her more effectively! Oh, well. If the princess wasn't going to do it, the heat death of the universe was going to come for it eventually. We can, we can, we can control her more effectively by just telling her that like she doesn't look pretty today. I'm so sure, this place is already messing with my head. She was prettier It'd yesterday. Be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. Mm -hmm -hmm. Enter the basement. All oh, the music's swelling. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Oh. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone damp. Oh, I mean, they look like they're going down. Look at it. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Mm. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No, no, thank you. Oh, don't be such a. I don't, I don't like it when these two talk. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? Uh? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his death. God, this Stanley Parable update has been amazing. Uh, take the harsh stairs to the left, take the center staircase, take the soft stair. What do you mean, harsh or soft? How can stairs be harsh or soft? Um... Let's take the soft stairs so if we fall down them, it's more cushiony. Right. The path feels soft and reassuring against your feet. The stairs almost seem like to sand? As you make your way down. Like a pillow? Like they're guiding your heels from one step directly to the next. You barely have to extend any effort a to the A literal softness. The stairway doing most of the work for you. You don't feel like there's any concern that you might slip or tumble or lose your way. Oh. But the further you go, oh. the deeper you sink in. First, it's like a lovely plush carpet, your toes digging down and barely hitting any resistance at all. But soon enough, you're fighting just to keep your knees from sinking out of sight. The softness yeah. threatens to swallow you whole, to wrest control of your body and surround you in a false ethereal bliss, pretending to save you from the cruelties of choice and consequence. I would describe it more as like when you throw all your laundry on the bed and then you have to like stand on the bed to turn the light on. Right? You know, you know when like the, the ceiling fan is like right above where your bed is? And you and you're like, oh, I just did laundry, now I need to turn the light on and, and you go and you go and turn it on and you have to like step through all your clothing and you're like trying not to trip and die. It's slow going, but you manage to fight against the overwhelming urge to fall back into comfort and nothingness. No? The very struggle to continue forward consuming your every thought. Aww. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. These are some really fucking soft pillows. Holy shit, is this memory foam? Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Oh, this is like when you go to the mall, 
We go to the mall and they have like the bamboo pillow setups, you know? You know where they sell you like the really soft cushiony pillows? It's like it's like the bamboo bamboo silk or whatever with like the memory foam inside. And you and you and you end up spending like an hour looking at pillows instead of instead of going to GameStop. Oh, I think do I short paper juice? No. Consumption and betrayal. Skepticism and blind devotion. What's she cooking? Rivalry Shut up. and submission. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as. What? Huh? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still. Oh, well, shut up! That was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening. Shut up! You're here to. He's just being an ass. We remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. She's gonna try and sell you your only fan- her only fans at a moment. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. Huh? What's your name? Getting down here was weird, like I was pulled apart and put back together. Again, do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? You're apparently a threat to the world that was sent here to slay you. Oh, let's put the fear of God in her! But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. You... You don't think I'm some sort of monster, do you? Everything you've heard about me is true, and I'm going to lay waste to everything, starting with you. That was fucking loud. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. Where there was once just one of her, is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins. Shut up! Have you been here before? Should we tell him? Nah, let him stew. Right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we... Shut up! Until... It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. Shut it up! It to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Stop skipping dialogue! He's just repeating the things we already did! He's just explaining what we already did! You wanna listen to that? You wanna listen to that? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Yes, oh my god. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. You fuckers are the kind of people. You have the memory of a goddamn goldfish. When the episode recap comes on for a fucking, like, series you're binging, you let that shit play, don't you? You're like, oh yeah, what did happen in that episode? In that thir give me, Give me five minutes recap of what just happened in that 30 minute episode I literally just finished watching. That is meant for a weekly cycle of release, but I am going to watch even though I'm fucking binging it on Netflix. That is how you guys are. It's cringe. There's more of you now. What's your name? Getting down here is weird. Oh, uh, uh, if I let you out of here, what are you going to do? I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Wait, why are these all like the same choice? These have bullet points as if they're meant to be different choices, but they're all the same. If you highlight over one of them, it highlights over all of them. Regretfully think about that time you threw the blade out the window. Could it be a bug? I don't know. Well, now I have to click it. Um. Wait, that's not right. Go on. Take a step forward. Your foot lands. Huh? But it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Huh? You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. 
But this... What the fuck is going on? You can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. You're so annoying! No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is... Oh, happening. fuck off. Nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world of the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... Falls apart? I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? What are we? What are we? There are parts of us that are dead and the others... They just don't fit. They just don't fit. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, you pull can, can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? I can't fix her, bros. We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Me, every day. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 It's going to be okay, I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No? You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. Say nothing. I'm just gonna say no. No, fuck you. No. Help me. No. Well, I got an achievement. The illusion of choice. When everything is possible, nothing is. The RRC then come to TV. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear your reply. She's gone, replaced with something else. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror? I'm begging the mirror. You, don't do this. Ignore him. The other option was the mirror never scared you before. You approached this, the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. He's got feathers! He's definitely like an Aarakocra or something. Maybe a Kenku. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. The body, it's you. Oh? He's got forward-facing eyes! You so he's not a bird? What the fuck is he? You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. This is some Lovecraft shit. What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. You know the narrator. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity or destroy your body? Fellas, what if we kill ourselves? You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into your into the space in your body... Wait. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space... You body should be. <laughs> Minor spelling mistake. <laughs> you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Minor spelling mistake. Is your attitude? Game ruined. Immersion ruined. Um... We'll be trying to attack her. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. So she can't kill me and I can't kill her. Um... Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Why do you keep ignoring the explore options? Because the other options are more interesting. It's 
not my fault if the other options are more interesting. It's not like I'm deliberately avoiding the explore options. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. What the fuck does that mean? You know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Uh. Err. Uh. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Radiant thing, fun boys. I haven't donated my federal designated ocean in a while. I'll take my money funding rabbit. Next time, thing, fun boys. Explore ones. Don't continue the story. You can do them and the fun options. Black Rex and Gumby. Hey, Pippa, have you ever heard of the myth of the giant Argus? He said, he said to have over a hundred eyes, but was lulled to sleep and sleep by Hermes. Is the is the story for this that? So maybe okay. This is just this is just predictive. This is this, this is just this is just guessing. This is just guessing. Is it like they're like two halves? Maybe? Of like, the same being? Or maybe like... Like, at the at the beginning of the game, it says this is a love story, so maybe it's like, fated lovers type thing? And you have to like... Like, run like, all of the threads of fate or something in order to get like, a, a true ending for them both? Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. But that's just a theory. Game theory. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found. But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what do you... What, what, and what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever. As we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Pretty by them, my lords. This game feels like a quirky Tumblr blogger just finished reading an H.P. Lovecraft story that wasn't Call of Cthulhu and felt proud of himself? You ask eh, I don't get that vibe. Cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. To remold. Being semantic, what are you going to do if I help you? Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Yep. Everything goes dark and you die. A spiral vessel. Bring the stranger to her. You're on a path in the woods. The real slay the, the princess starts here. You'll know it when you see it. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. We're back to chapter one again. Mm-hmm. End of the world. Let's just let's just go. Let's just go this time. Maybe. Okay. Thanks for telling Don't me what to do. It. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Surely we can get some context to understand the last ending better? Maybe. I guess we play it straight now. Yeah, uh, we bullshitted it around enough. Let's try, let's try and seriously get some answers now. I'm not gonna bother the asking- The cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. 
The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I'm not gonna bother, like, asking a bunch of shit at the beginning, like, there was all those explore options, but... What about the mirror, Pippa? I think the mirror was because we were in a fractured reality, right? So the mirror, the mirror was supposed to represent... I don't know what exactly, but... The mirror, the mirror was tied thematically to how reality was fractured and like a broken mirror. So because reality is not broken in this one, we don't have it. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Mm. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Oh. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Mir is always there in the other playthroughs of the demo. How does that make sense? I think the ending you got is the true ending, but you need to explore more endings. Hidden J powers in doors. Multiple routes equals lore for Pippa. Why would the narrator say that the mirror doesn't belong in the other ending if the mirror does belong in the ending? Or do does belong in the beginning? Why would, he, why would he say the mirror doesn't belong? Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it It's a spoiler. You. It's all part of the manipulation. That's okay, as long as she's pretty, I don't mind. Hi, just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Continue down the stairs. Hi! Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs. She's pretty. Lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? What if instead of like, like the beginning of the game says that this is a love story? Maybe it's like, maybe it's like a love story in the sense of like a faded, like hero, like good versus evil kind of situation. Maybe. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like, she is like an eternal threat to the world and it's, it's a love story in, in that these two are intertwined for like the rest of reality, for the rest of existence, to be in conflict with each other? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You're awfully sarcastic for somebody chained to the wall while a stranger is standing before you holding a knife. I think maybe she's into it. What? No way! Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Oh, title drop, almost. Nuh uh. N -n -n uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Uh, nuh uh. Then drop the knife. <laughs> we should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do <laughs> after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Real mature, hell yeah. Drop it or tighten your grip. I mean, we're far enough away that even if we drop it, she can't grab it, right? I think in order to build morale with our prisoner, we should drop it. And we should we should build rapport with them before beforehand. Blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Don't use that logic. But that's that's like real life logic. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Simp, shut up. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. I don't get powers and glory. That's just a theory. Up, 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 up. fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. 
You're going to need it. I won't forget. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Huh? Yeah, it's a uh, pretty awkward. A relationship. Are you coming on to me? Oh, they didn't come back. I laugh. How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name and how long have you been down here? Okay, we've talked enough. Or do you know why I'm here to kill you? Let's make her laugh, bros! A relationship! Are you coming out of me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. Oh. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Damn, bitch, you're frosty. What the fuck? Okay, what's your fucking name, bitch? Hold on, where was the option? Yeah, what's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. The fuck? Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. No shit, Sherlock! There's people out here, out there, who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. Why not? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. Hmm. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Well, you're not going to like the world after being locked down here. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Hmm. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough, I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I am sure they have the reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Remain silent. This is what- this is a strategy, right? If we remain silent, she'll just- she'll just keep talking. She'll just keep talking and- or she'll become, like, frustrated. And she'll want to, like, defend herself. Yeah? They haven't told you anything, have they? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Ooh. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Am I getting paid for this? That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Mm. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Are you a communist? How would I get you out of here? How long have you been down here? Okay, we've talked enough. Let's see just how eager she is to get out of these Part lines. Don't bother. Hmm. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Why would there be a key down here if I was sent here to kill you? Well, we can always put that knife to good use. I'm gonna cut your arm off. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. I think she should chew her right. chew through her wrist like a rat. She is. I'm sure of it. How long have we been down here? Too long. Okay. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Play the princess. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Yeah, let's get to know each other better. That seems like a pretty good compromise. 
Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. <laughs> One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. I was hoping she'd put up more resistance. And if you don't... But she's awfully aggressive. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Play the princess. Okay, let's get you out of here. Uh, I made up my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. Let's just kill her. Charge the princess. Blade trembling in your hand. Oh, she's putting up fifty cups! She casually sidesteps your thrust ah! before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. What? She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Girl boss basement gate gift. Shut up, Kajioni. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. This is dark as fuck! Everything goes dark, and you die. What the fuck? Oh my god, Helen, you're letting the step on me, you're mommy. On you're making path Ugh. in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh you're here my god! To slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Dr. Grandma didn't think it was going to be me. I wish that was me. What? Why? She might kill you again? She will lie. She will oh, cheat. no. Same thing. She will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I really, I really stop. thought she'd resist. Pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Oh, my Can God. Turn down the pessimism just a smidge. I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just True. ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. Moral of story, don't be a simp! If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. What? That would be terrible. She she was blatantly aggressive, and she was she was fully capable of killing us. So why why would we why would we why would we trust her? So please try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Proceed to the that's cabin. What you want. I guess I don't have a say here. You did try to stab her because she was being a bitch. Yeah, she had it coming, unironically. The, the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Are we going to climb up that ladder and fall to our death? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mirror's back. Why do we feel so... Small. Big lives here, my lords. Don't be a simp. Got it. Hi, Pippa. Here's five dollars. Oh, thank you. We don't feel small. We are small. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade, enter the basement. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Uh, not right now, melee man, but thank you for the ten dollars. I'll, I'll, I'll sing you happy birthday at the end. Um... 
The mirror disappeared! The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase, its steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. Did she get, like, power from us or something? Because of, um... Because of the previous timeline? It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Previous loop? A booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Oh, so Voice of the Broken is like... It's more like Voice of the Corrupted, right? Or is it like he like we're, we're broken mentally by her? Should we be worried about like break a horse. changing attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. It's our Stockholm Syndrome. Line break, yeah. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. Nice, Dizzle! The princess towers over you, oh, pretty. almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. Oh. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. She remembers. You've brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. More. Oh. Drop it. Now! Drop it or tighten your grip. As if tighten your grip! Hard, the blade slips now! from your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. Shut up! Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Silence! Sin! Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. No. No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I... Said, Neil. I do not kneel before false gods. Apparently, That's I do. Never mind. Little bird. No. Why don't we talk? The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed the life out of your broken lungs. She's still bitchy even I in this whole- I feel its fundamental little... truth awaken me. Uh. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. Well, that gives away the game, doesn't it? I think it does. It does. Why did she say, the last time we met? That's not right, that can't be right. She's right. We've been here before. We know we died! We, we could've brought that up to the narrator. Before. Pitifully. We might as well do what she asks of us and help her. She is inevitable. Can't you feel it? He's being melodramatic, but the point stands. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Come back with a party! Well, I'll be damned. That's not good. Okay. First things first, you're going to have to stuff those pessimistic thoughts someplace far, far away and commit yourself to what needs to be done. What does she need? I don't know. Maybe worship? 
Uh, happy birthday, Chloe! The stakes of the situation should be perfectly clear to everyone now. If you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. <laughs> you can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. It's kind of gay. I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm not going to help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. I'm yours to command. Fucking simp. Um... What would you what have me do? have to do is break these chains and set me free. I, I feel like you'd be more capable of doing that than I. Yeah, if you're so powerful, can't you just break the Don't chains yourself? Rude. Of course she can. Why doesn't she? It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Shut up. That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. Cringe. <laughs> I can. Easily. But that isn't what I want to do. She's lying! The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you, being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. And from your act of utter devotion and submission, springs a new dawn, a better dawn, Chat, how do I get the ending where I beat her into submission? Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Um... What happened to you after I died? Know the limits of your privilege, little bird. There is an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. Um... Chad, I'm thinking we tell her to fuck off, right? We, we just tell her to fuck off, right? So give us a crumb, please! Oh, God. Yeah? Yeah. I see. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. Uh, there's no needle in the room. Actually, all there is is the dagger that I walked in with, and the dagger's not a needle. It's what she wants. No objections here. What? don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Oh, well, everything else is blocked out. Why? What are you going to try and make me do with it? I'm going to kill you. You're not kidding about that divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it her? Is it you? No. Reach Pick up the blade. And grasp the blade. Did we get locked Stand. out of the options. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Is it because we is it because we 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 hesitated in killing her? We we listened to her before we tried killing her. Okay, yeah. I hate you. I hate you so much. All of you. Stop making me do things. I'm going to kneel here forever. Stand. Creaking tension between body and will as you slowly it. rise to your feet, like two foes forced into choice. an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. 
The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. While I am brilliant radiance. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. Chad, the girl's telling me to kill myself again, even though I paid her to be nice to me. What? Chad! You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Not again! God damn it. Oh, we'll end this all right. <laughs> the girl, no. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards you. <laughs> okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Slay yourself. Resist. Slay the princess. Slay the princess! Her body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you. Oh, she's all. She's looking all. Forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. She's gonna get my account banned. Plunge that knife into your lungs. I'm sorry. No, Sam! Don't. As you take another step God forward, damn it. the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. How do you have claws? Because we're a bird! Slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. She's got some good ideas, but it'd be better if she Those was on the receiving just words. end. You don't have to listen to her. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. But the blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. Yeah, this ain't going too good. What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird, thinking it can defy a god. Wouldn't it be kind of romantic, though, if we stab her, and then we, like, lay on top of her, and our, like, blood mixes? It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Slay yourself. Slay the princess. Slay the princess! Oh. Never get you pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. Mm. Continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle in the open air of the basement. I think we're gonna die of blood loss, maybe. It would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. Yeah, narrator. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to Oh my god. Stop. Okay. As you finish the room, you fall to your knees at the Whoa! princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. Blah! The princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. You gotta resist, Jet! You gotta, you gotta resist! Yet. 
Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. That's a little demeaning, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. Shut the fuck up! I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. How would that make sense? How does that make sense? She's only negotiating now because she knows what... She knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. But that doesn't... That doesn't make sense. Because she could have just killed us. Unless it's... That there's like a part of her that does want... To die? Narrator coping. Narrator's kind of coping. Hmm. He's lying to you, Pippa. I think he's lying to us here. Why hasn't she killed us yet? I mean, that's that's the question, right? Unless... I feel like it'd be a little bit optimistic to say she's taken a genuine interest in us. Hmm. I guess she would need us for something? I'm yours. Pledge yourself to her. I slay the princess. Die! Stop! <gasps> yes. Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act unyielding defiance. I don't think that's going to accomplish much. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your what? target again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. We can do this, can't we? We can do it! could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Yes, it Shut is. Up. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You... You hit me! Before oh. you can strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. There's an unsettling... Ah! As your spine breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. I feel like the author has a fetish for uh, getting his chest beat in. Your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. Or I can only come up with one way for the character to die. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. You made me use my hands. I, I can feel myself twisting into something new. Something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? Your monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch this. Oh. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. You should feel fucking dead, dude. She collapses to the oh, floor. Achievement, God Killer. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking. So you're better. still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. That's kind of romantic. I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something, I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's 
finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Ah, oh, such is life. Never mind. On a path in the woods, and at the end of the path, okay, what the hell is that? Continue chatting. My <laughs> brown bedding with Lars. Is this the sort of relationship you and Culvers have? An occasion thing with Lars. Not gonna lie, that was kind of hot. Uh, RB Grizzly thing with Lars. All hail Pippa the Simp Breaker, the Princess Stamer. I think he's upset. I think he's a little sad. What's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. His tier 3 sub ran out and he doesn't get paid until a week from now, but it's gonna ruin his streak. Exactly. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was. And ever will be. You're damn right we did. And you'll get over it. Can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. A voice of the stubborn is nil. All right, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Yeah, new party member. Okay, great, you're listening. <clears throat> you're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a... If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her. It's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? This is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. Yeah, you think? Uh, actually, I, I don't think we have been here. This is all different, isn't it? We have changed yes, too, yeah. precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. We're in Meat World. True. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. That's not really an answer. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Wait, so all my other choices didn't matter? Anyway, we only need this one last go at things. Also, why do we need another go? We killed her! That's what made anything was. Ew. We, we killed her! That's true. And don't let that inflated ego get in the way of doing your job. Every choice matters? If there's still a princess at the cabin, maybe we can salvage things. Maybe if we just grovel and apologize, things can go back to how they were before. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. You're making it so much harder than it has to be, so stop whining. <laughs> you said yourself, Ledger, that you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, then you better tell us everything. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better all listen to me when, time, when the time comes to make a choice. But don't slay her. If I just stay here or do anything else and we hit this point of no return, then what happens? No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well see this through. Silently proceed to the cabin. I'm done with this. Bye. Turn around and leave. Is the narrator part of ourself? Is he just another one of the... The voices in I our head? can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. Maybe we don't actually know why we're supposed to kill her. Maybe it's just something we made up in our head. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know how dangerous she is. And that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Maybe all of this is in our head. Really? That's it. That's... All we're getting out of you. He just wants to keep things going the way they are. But we've been given a second chance to do right by her. She can build something better than this. She can build something better than us. We just have to let her do it. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. 
You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. I think I'm the 50 sacks or I think I want out of the Terraria Crimson biome now. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. If I don't slay her, um... So what if I'm speaking my mind? It's not like I've ever really got to say anything. What a crock of shit. Yeah, you stabbed us last time. Repeatedly. It didn't even work. It doesn't count. <coughs> we died! If you didn't submit to her, for all we know, that wouldn't have happened. It's the punishment you all deserved for not listening to me. To her. Aside from our sulkin friend, I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever going to change. The second he tries something, I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Let's go to the cabin. Ew! We're all on the same. The noises! It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. That's fine by me. Let's get moving. I'm itching for a rematch. Dun 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 dun! Oops. But the interior of the just going for place here. feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. Vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. You did this. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It's a mirror again, and this time it's blocking the door. You didn't mention the mirror last time either. Why? How are we supposed to get to the basement? There's no door, there's just a mirror where the door used to be. Take the blade. Hmm. They're saving. Yeah, we could have been saving. Um... No. I'm... There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door to the basement. Just to tell us where the door is. I'd like to get back to fight. If you want us to kill her so bad, I'm sure you feel the same. No more messing around. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I wouldn't know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. It feels like you're literally inside someone's head or something or that you're walking through a corpse. I don't know. Is this all supposed to be like in like a like a like is this is this like a like like Is what- what's actually happening here is like the mirror f for like self-reflection and instead of reflecting on our- uh, This is like- it's like it's all a metaphor for uh, toxic relationships and instead of us self-reflecting with the mirror we choose- we choose to ignore our own actions and instead we- we become lost in our thoughts and blah 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 Huh? I'm thinking too hard about what it. What are you trying to say exactly? No, stop. This is an English class, Pippa. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure. I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. It's in our way. Let's just smash it. Uh, well, let's grab the Take blade. The blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. Hmm. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It's much simpler than that. Right? What are we wiping clean? Wipe what clean? Are you still on about that mirror? It's not real. I'd know about it if it were real. No, we can't doubt our eyes like that. It has to be real. Smash it. 
smash it to pieces is the only thing keeping us from her. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Nah, I'm with you on this one. Smash it! Let's get violent! Yeah, violence! You want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Chat, what do you think? One or two? Wipe the mirror clean or smash it? What do you think? A save? I'm seeing a lot of ones. Wipe, reach forward wipe the and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. The spine? As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step mm. forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. The high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Did you grab the knife? Her I voice, did. A bellowing rage roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh and feel my hands set upon your throat. She's so angry with us. Why? Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? I think she's mad. I, I think she might be. about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any good. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. We're going to put an end to her once and for all. It's our fault. If she's an abomination, then what does that make us? Uh, a normal person? She was going to end the world last time. If I might interject, you didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here. And it's why your task is so important. Continue down the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's Whoa! walls are painted Color! Red, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? Um. Um. Witty comment here. There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. Ah! It drops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. Let it's the punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. It's the punishment I deserve for letting it happen. Screw that. We can win. We've done it before and we'll do it again. Only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. Give up on destroying the world, have we? Uh, what happened to you? Guy, it's hard to think with a heart beating. Um... Wait, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. I'm going to end you. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. Let her end you. I'm a Merkelop, I think it was. I like the stubborn voice. He has the correct attitude towards women, among other things. You just kill her? Just kill her, don't say a word, just kill her. Fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on each other. Just both of you fast. to yep. lay down your very essence in one blow. 
I think we're a Kenku. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. <laughs> oh, how romantic. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. What? Yoink! True to her word, you do not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is not the end for you, but it's not the end for me. Oh, this is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. I'm going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. Approach the mirror. Wait, wait, wait! We're talking as if we're not the voice of the hero! What? Before! When we did the dialogue options, we were acting as the voice of the hero. But this time, we're responding to the voice of the hero. Never had been. We're not the hero. Huh? It's all the basing the she loves on aliving us. We're the narrator. That doesn't make sense. How can we defy the narrator if we are the narrator? The hero is a voice in your head. The hero is a voice, but you are you. Um. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. I don't want to look at us. It's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Well, I guess we'll see the voice again. Right? See them again. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Who are we? Maybe there'll be a good fight there. Maybe we'll find her again. A mercy. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The bloat. You've grown, achievement. You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. What's this? Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. She's different from the last time. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? What does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? You know at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? When I go back, it's as, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? What do you want me to bring you next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I have hurt them. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? I'm ready to go back. Is this like history is repeating itself and it's like the same the same family maybe the same lineage or maybe it's like a hive species i doubt they would go that route but like the same species continuously sacrificing itself as part of like a hive mind eh. well 
Well, what do you want next time? Where did that option go? What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Hmm. Are you the same being as you were before? How much of you has changed? As a child, the same as an infant. I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Mm, what does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Just giving her perspective like she said before. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There hmm. are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. She's becoming more. Is this a... I'm sorry if it's annoying you guys with all my guesses. But, um... Is this just, like, an exploration of... Humanity? Yeah, self-discovery? Is this... Is this just a... Story about... Experience and... Growing? Alright. Could be. Hmm. How many more vessels do I need to bring to you? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. I will transcend in due time, and there is no way forward but to contribute to my awakening. Hmm. What do you feel about me? The vessels are a weave of emotion at odds with themselves. But they are only perspectives. They are not me. Ah, oh, so you only care about yourself, you dumb bitch! The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. So I just exist to enhance your life experience? Is that what you're fucking saying, you bitch? I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. <sighs> Whatever, I'm ready. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. An unwound vessel bring the fury to her. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in you're here oh. to slay her. Okay. All right. What if we be really nice to her this time? What if we allow her to hurt us? Let's continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Not believe a word, she says. You've been here before, you'll be here again. Mm -hmm. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. No knife run. The Let's try it. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's try it. Let's go without taking the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. 
the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Is it a different voice? I can't tell. My lady route. Hi, just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. Lie, I'm here to save you. Hey, I think I'm here to slay you. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. Hmm. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I really like this song. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? <laughs> I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. It's pretty, it is. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Hold on, let's talk first. I'll see what I can do. I'll examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. You're making a huge mistake. She's gonna she's gonna run upstairs, she's gonna grab that knife, and she's gonna stab us in the fucking back. No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tuck. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Mm. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Hmm. Dan Tran, fuck off. Um. One? Two. I don't think she'd like to be left alone again, though, right? Save? I don't imagine she'd be very keen on being... ...abandoned again. Simping? One, two? But I am seeing a lot of twos. Just be for a second though, but still, we just got here. Um... Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Uh-oh. Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You try oh. the door, but it's locked from the outside. Hmm. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs, this would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? We got trapped down here. But there was another person. I d is it the narrator controlling the story, easier maybe? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. Oh no, we made things worse, chat! If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. See, I suggested this earlier. See, I am a source. I am a well of good ideas, chat. She rips her flesh from her bone. A sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Let's save the princess, Jack! <sighs> Fine. A 
against your better judgment. Oh my god. You place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to How are we gonna get through the bones? Cut into her flesh. I think she already got through the flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Oh, I guess she's weak. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Is this a fucking, uh, Katawai Shoujo crossover? How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Yeah, but she's cute, so it's Thank okay. You. Yeah. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess no! approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward no! and raises the ground. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. You son of a bitch! What are you doing? Warn her! Lay the princess, lay the princess, warn her. I guess we could just... I guess we... we, we what? Huh? Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. What the fuck?! But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! You're getting us killed! Please resist! The blade! Move the blade! No! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. But you don't know me! She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Oh fuck, she's about to kill us. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges oh. it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. God damn it. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I don't think Stand you are. Strong. We can tough it out until it's done. Oh. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Then why are you doing it?! She didn't have any choice? It wouldn't have come to this if the narrator hadn't controlled us. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Hmm. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Is she being controlled? Mom, I think the life's worth it. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest, as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Maybe, or maybe it really is just a, she's trying to preserve herself. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. I liked her better when she was demonic. The thing goes dark. You die. Never trust the narrator. Hmm. A princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Can we just keep self sacrificing? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hasn't this already happened? I'm getting a sense of deja vu. 
You bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. I'm tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. You fucking liar! If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? Smitten. If we're going to save our He's beloved, we have to be sneaky about it. Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Hmm, I think, I think we might be busted already. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love. And the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. The four of us? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. The four of Sounds us? Sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. The voice of the hero? The voice of the smitten? I guess the princess? And the player? Is that the four? What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen already. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Eh, let's not be whiny. A warning. Before she will lie. Yeah. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. Oh my god. We've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Yeah. I do. But I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. God, I hate playing with bards. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed into the cabin. Is spitten worse than broken so far? It might be. The interior of the Where cabin is, the mirror? is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped mm. in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. You didn't say anything about the mirror. Approach the mirror. Take the blade. Let's just enter the basement. But who closed the door? The door the I don't know. Creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. No. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice is still gentle. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Me, when I click onto a Twitch stream, and not only do they have a cute model, but they also have a soft, adorable female voice. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. Still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes. Oh, she's more princess. beautiful! There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love! We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you. Right? She's so cute. She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Here's ten seconds of a siren's ASMR. Listen, man. Leave me alone. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so <gasps> worried you wouldn't come back. She remembers me! Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. Look at her smile. And she called us a hero. <coughs> Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. I have. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. 
Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Oh. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Yeah. We never saw a world end. <coughs> now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. <laughs> listening to him. He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Rescue the princess. So I think we've learned that uh, the Explorer does actually affect your choices. Somebody, somebody said that you can click Explore and it doesn't, it doesn't interrupt, but... So let's just try and rescue her. I don't want to, I don't want to complicate things by, by asking a bunch of shit. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her out with ease. Nothing can be No, be. she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? It's more dialogue, yeah, but it removes and alters our path. Like, it, it, it changes what we can and can't do when we, when we do the different dialogue options sometimes. Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. And you might have played this before, so you know what options lead the way, but I have not played this, so... Clicking shit can be detrimental. I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. K okay, okay, ah, Betty. so you're one of those... Empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. I think therefore no, I am. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Or... if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. <laughs> my passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. My emotions are bursting at the seams like the Titan submarine. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings, and doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? Approach the princess Aww. and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. She's gonna turn into a monster and fucking eat us. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. 
Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs mm -hmm. a weapon mm -hmm. when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? Uh, jump out the window? What do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. Mm. We ask her. One? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Ah. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. It's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. Yeah. I think I want to leave. And I think... I want to end the world. The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. I want to kill you. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh, no. I want you to tell me what you want. Oh my god, so annoying. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I figure... I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Um... If you want to leave, then let's leave! That sounds perfect. Hmm. The princess takes your hand. What? The last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. That's my life, bros! And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Mm. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. Yeah. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Are we gonna kill ourselves like Romeo and Juliet? Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. That'd be badass. I'm just along for the ride at this point. You think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. I think I've got this. Open the door by yourself. I think we can do this together with the power of love! Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. That's a nice a little callback to the in love. to chapter you one. The princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. Yeah. Because remember, remember in chapter one, that's what she said. She was like, "We can do it. I, I think we can escape from here if we open the door together." And the box clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Mm. I told you our love was insurmountable. Hmm. You and the princess make your way upstairs, and... The blade, that's right, there's still a chance for you to do the right no! thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. No! Maybe later. But not right now! You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. See! That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Isn't this what you want as well? Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then she stabs me in the back. And then you step outside. Huh? What? 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 An achievement titled Romantic Haze? A happy ending at last. The music doesn't sound very happy. We did it! What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Huh? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into half of Lovett's eyes. I'm cold.
cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Uh oh. It's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. No! They're grabbing her from Mars! What the fuck? But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Oh. Can we comfort ourselves again? But it feels so bad. Not looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. The universe stole our yes. life, yeah. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. But if we just sit here and breathe for a while, that doesn't hurt. Right? That's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's the end for me, but not for you. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Max Max, thank you for the Meanwhile, the broken somewhere. It should have been me. I think I'm gonna be joining stream. Her, here, British accent. Sorry, Pips, it's enough for me. Good night. Bongo bingo, thank you for Dolores. Where are her? T were her tits bigger in the love route? Just me? I don't know. Recognizing Dolores. Cock blocked by reality again. One. Hmm. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. And he's not wrong. She is waiting for us on the other side. You approach the mirror. And gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The decay you've withered. Oh. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Why have we withered? You're at the cabin. Approach her. can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? What do you think of this vessel? The rest are repeats, I think. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Mm. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. Hmm. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Yeah. If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what to say. I don't know what that says about me. Uh, you're a masochist? No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or another on the matter. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. Ah, uh, let's keep simping though. Let's keep simping. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. Hmm. Alright. Do you still not care what I bring you next? Oh, this is different. I care about your gifts. 
but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. That's what you did on one of the other routes, though. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Hmm. You know what happens to the world we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Ah. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Hmm. All right. Ready to go back. When it is time for us to meet again. Ask about the vessel. I think she would have said the same thing. A loving vessel. Bring the damsel to her. You're on a path in the woods. We're skipping this. Alright. Alright. What else should we do? I think if we don't show any resistance, we can kill her. Ignore the cabin. We did that first. You make your way up the short path. Reload a save. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely... I feel like that would interrupt everything we've done, wouldn't it? Let's take the knife. Take the blade from the Enter the basement. Continue down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. You walk down you the can't stairs, repeat route. You can't! With the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is it wood? Don't reload. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Oh, her voice changes so much. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Mm. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Mm. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. Let's just kill her. Right? Just kill her. We don't even say anything, we just kill her. Her VA is also a streamer. Who's her VA? You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way, <laughs> to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it, isn't it? Yep. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder... Why aren't you, like, crying or anything? Do you not feel fucking anything except for the cold when the hands of the abyss pull you back Do under? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She huh? stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? That's annoying. Really over. Of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure I feel like there's some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was too easy. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like if we don't think she's dead, then she's going to get back up because we're going to believe that she's not dead. One. I think a lot of ones. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? 
You haven't. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. And then it all goes wrong again. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Aww. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Aww. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. There is no world. You'll be happy. What? What? Huh? That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of help, kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. What if we just give up? Live in the pod. Eat the bugs. Two, three, one. Be stoic. I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm so glad you're keeping an open mind. Hmm. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Me locking women in the basement. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no! Do you have any idea how to get us the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? I'm seeing a lot of ones! Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Hmm, okay. Maybe I'm not happy. And I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. No, we're happy. I'm sure of it. Who? Really committing really? to this route. Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, mm -hmm. shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Hmm. Yay! Yeah, good ending! You did it! You saved everyone! You cannot go further astray. That's the point of no return. There's no going back now. No going back now! Da 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 Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not happy and I'm just... Not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Good. Because I have an idea achievement. to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. That's right. The only way we can move on to the next world is if we kill ourselves in this one. Don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. Option two? One? Two? 
one, two, one, two, one, two. Very mixed. I'm going to say two. Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you... Ingrate. Okay, let's not go so far as to call names, buddy. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Why is the knife back downstairs? The princess's body is oh, dust right. and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Based! The end. Unk! Nice knowing you. The Spectre. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Really? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. But I killed myself! What am I doing here? <laughs> a warning. She will yeah. she won't be a problem. Voice of the cold. Proceed into the cabin. Huh? The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Mm. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Mirror? You think we should go to the mirror this time? Do we take the... Do we take the blade? Don't take the knife. Just approach the mirror? Yeah, I think my lord the voice of a cold doesn't have a stuffy nose. Immersion broken. Try it out. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. What? And now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Hmm. Why is the mirror there though? I don't know. Not allowed until you bring a vessel. Blade? I'm seeing a lot of twos. Why would we need the knife if she's already dead? The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the mm. princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess That's comes different. into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Oh. Before you have a chance to finish oh. your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two ghost wife! Ghost wife! Ghost wife! Followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Ghost wife! Ghost wife! Ghost wife! Finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Chat, I've said this a million times. I'm going to say it again. I think Bouet is 10 million, kajillion, billion times better than Bowsette. Bouet? Now that's some fucking wife material. Bowsette? All right. But Bouet? Oh, my God. 
a g g ghost g g g g ghost oh wow how absolutely terrifying what's a ghost supposed to do to us marriage oh it's you hiya keller <laughs> she's got a nickname for me see you again i have some issues with how our last meeting went the princess drifts across the room into your orbit gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you <laughs> her touch is cold and ethereal formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin mm. so she has a body and she's right there we could probably grab her and kill her again if we wanted to we don't even need a blade She looks fragile enough to me. Oh. Grab her. I'll wait and see how things play out. Mm. A simp for her. Kill. One, two, save. I feel like saving is kind of not great for this game, right? Because if you save, it'll just take you back to where you were previously. And it won't count all the other routes you've done. How do you kill a ghost? Yeah, I don't think you can kill a ghost. I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Pay for absolution, maybe? That's interesting. The voice actor. It sounds like she recorded her speaking normally, and then and then recorded herself again, like speaking in a whisper, like perfectly in time. It's a really nice effect. Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. I killed you. What are you doing? Not being dead? Yeah, you dumb bitch. I killed you. Why are you not dead? Stop that. You know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry I killed you last time, I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. I'm sorry, is there any way I can make it up to you? The people who wanted you dead tricked me, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. What do you want from me? Holy fuck, there's so many choices. Even if I knew, I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. Oh, if I knew, I would wind up having to talk to you again. I would have seen you. What do you want from me? I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? After I killed you... This cabin... I want to say it teleported? It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped and meaning... Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. I guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. You were going to end the world. I was told you were going to end the world. Okay, you're clearly saying... Okay, clearly saying... Oh, slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts. If you're dead, then there really isn't much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll get going. And leave her in the basement. Right, I don't think there's much more for us to talk about. I'm going to get my blade, and then the two of us can fight. Or grab the princess. There's so many options, chat. There's so many. Grab? Everyone's saying grab. Grab and team up. I'm gonna grab her. Come Before here, baby! Thing, you lunge forward and grab her arm. You feel substance for the briefest of moments, but then you feel nothing at all. As though all you've done is clutch at empty air. Hmm. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. Ha, <laughs> thank you. But I didn't say you could touch me. Ow. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Oh. Right, I don't think there's much more for us to talk about. I'm gonna get my blade now and then the two of us can fight. A team up, maybe? Grab the princess, but try harder! Just keep grabbing? Maybe we should commit to this. Team up. Try harder. 
Hmm. Try harder. Let's just keep trying. You attempt once more to seize the princess and once more you grip only cold, empty air as she disappears. Really? <laughs> Her voice chides from elsewhere in the I just room. Want to you whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, looking you over with grim disappointment. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, however. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here together. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. You don't have a home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. But I guess violence is the only language you speak. Yeah, kinda actually. She forces her hand into your chest and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. Did you miss? I'm not afraid of you. Stare at her in silence or step away. Perhaps we should just stare. Huh? Just stare at her? You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering, the ah. squelching of organs, the rending of tissue. An icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owe. Starting with your body. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. Pity we don't have a weapon. Oh, no. Your last moments are spent a helpless heart witness as she rips her hand. Her fate's worse than a broken heart. Your still beating heart Achievement. Fist. But that's ours. You can't take that. See you soon, killer. Oh, using nicknames again. That's sweet. She crushes it. Blood and ruined vascular tissue leaking from between her fingers, dribbling unceremoniously to the floor. Everything goes dark, and you die. The wraith. You're on a path in the wood, and here we go again. Off to slay her again. The deck's stacked, isn't it? We kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost, we start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. I'd agree. On. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if? All of this was rigged from the start. That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of... cosmic busywork. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. Wouldn't that get... I don't know... boring? Not if they're creative with it. Okay, so you've already been here. Twice even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Chet, how many endings have we done so far? Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Well, we didn't Three. have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? You need seven! What because the fuck? you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. Oh, you need and five. Then you told us we were happy. Well, were you happy? Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. It was boring. It was bullshit. So you killed yourself? Yes. And then she killed us. Even though she was already dead. 
This is all fake. Okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. Why should we help you? So you can just lock us away forever again? No, I don't think so. Tell you what, I won't do that. I promise. Oh yeah, sure, that changes everything. I mean, he did promise. And you believed him? All this standing around and talking is boring. Trail. Let's at least do something. Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. Yeah, why don't we free her this time? That'd be something. It would. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. <sighs> Thankfully, you all aren't the ones actually making the decisions, are you? You know what you have to do. You have to slay her. You have to save the world. Nothing matters more than this. Oh, we did! We did slay okay, her! by his rules. Everything here is rigged. Everything is changing to whatever's convenient for him. Why are you capitalizing the age like he's changed. God? That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. Her... influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But... Hmm. Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. We see to the cabin. There's something else we haven't tried. Turn around and leave. One. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. That's a hedge, not a wager. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. But why are you the same? So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Yeah, but you're still the same you from the other timeline. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. I mean, he's still, he's still, like, he's, he, yes, he's, like, not technically the same version of himself from the other continuity, or from the, from the other, from the other timeline, but, like, he's, he's a continuation of that other version of himself. Can we team up with her? We just proceed to the cabin. One? You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. But we already know that if we, if, if we, if we die, it loops, right? And he's saying that we don't know that, but if, if we do, if we do kill her... Like... The world just becomes nothingness. There is no world. So why... I know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. But that still implies we're gonna keep making the choices forever. 
You can just keep making the correct choice forever and never deviating. That implies that we're going to be making the same choice forever. It's convenient. Everything always comes back to what you want us to do. I'm sick of him. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. Proceed to the cabin. Continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. Well, you cared an awful lot before. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me, or have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Take it however you will. I'll, t I'll take it as I won. long and dark, a single narrow hallway <laughs> stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either yes, side, head on. obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. Thank the you, only everyone, furniture Alec. of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Great. Something else has been taken away from us. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's pretend there's a mirror at the end of this hallway, and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? You slowly forward. make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. I feel like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this anticipation. We just need this to be over. Isn't it interesting that on the cursor, the feathers start like, just below the wrist, but on on, on the main character's, like, actual body, the, 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 um, his, his, like, scaly flesh goes up all the way his arm. You notice that? Or maybe it's not feathers, maybe it's f frayed flesh. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Wipe the what mirror the clean. She's waiting for us right now, just out of sight, on the other side of that glass. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. That's different. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. What you looking at, killer? Staring into the void, thinking about what it'd be like to die again? I know exactly how you feel. Shit. Where is she? I think she's upset -y. You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Oh, I think she's pissed. Your bones snap. Uh -oh. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. But do you know how I feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. I thought maybe you'd see what you've done and feel remorseful. Maybe try to make it up to me. But no, 
You'd rather use that knife to keep making the same mistake over and over and over. So, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to take your body, and I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Um, are you sure you want to be breaking my feet then? Because, like, if you're going to be walking out of here, it's not going to be much of a walk. It's going to be more of a sad, pathetic hobble. Because you just bent my fucking foot all the way up. I say we let her do it. It's something different. Do we even have a choice? You always have a choice. Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Choke her out! Well, unless you have any specific ideas, I think my vote's the only one that counts. Look, we're even now. I killed you and then you killed me. Water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all of this too, you know. Wouldn't possessing me against my will make you know better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door for you? That's fine. I actually came here to free you. Struggle. Hmm. Any ideas, chat? A struggle? Free her. That's fine. Alright. Great! See you on a jiffy. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides... I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Yeah, she still has booba. Like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel... wrong. Oh, Hoisting, the arm art is different in the demo. More feathers. Ah, oh, okay. So cramped in here, like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. I'd beg you to resist, but you've already surrendered your will to her, haven't you? Yeah. Anything to get out of this hellhole. It's a new experience. You should try being possessed sometime. There's nothing else like it. There's nothing wrong with fixing your mistakes. I'll remember that. But I'll also never forget what you've done. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. Ah. That's too many sows. You overdid it. Anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. Ah. It doesn't matter how long this hallway is. I will practice bodies with the face of meat and feathers. I will be free. Please, just let her out. Yes. Let. Me. Out. It's pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no screw that. The hallway gets even longer. You have described me into submission. The door is right there. It 
really is, isn't it? I walk to it. I crush your bloody hand on the floor. I make you spit to the handle. Isn't saying all of this his job? Can't. He is gone. Ah. Uh, oh, he really thank God. is, isn't he? I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. I did nothing. He dealt with himself. He killed himself. He was sick of this shit. This is it, then. The big moment. I just hope it's a way out. The candle clicks as we push forward. The air is different here. But as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear. A rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had nestled in the deep crevices of your body. From everything that isn't you. Us again? How interesting. We actually won, didn't we? What? What? What is happening to me? They come to claim her again. But you didn't. Uh, but you don't answer her before she's gone. She's Memory gone. returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Which wife is gone? Sad. Well, they approach the mirror again. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. Ignore the cowards. You have to look. The voices feel small and distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. A mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The remains you've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell me? There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. You think that anything is real out there? You think that we're real? When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Do all the vessel Have the vessels had one? This is long. Ask about the vessel. The narrator one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. Hmm. Three? Answers? Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Hmm. Huh. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. Also, there, there is just one more go around. There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There's a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. 
they do not last. I think anything's real out there. We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Fair enough. Your thoughts on this vessel. This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Taking destiny into your own hands. Well, just go back. The singing is annoying. I like it. Three. Stay. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. Aww. Wait. I will see you when you return. What textures will you weave for yourself? Place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Uh, the game just closed? Um. Um. It does that. Motherfucker. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Huh? Come on, game. Pop back up. Pop back up. Pop back up! Come back! There we go. Alright. You know what's going to happen here when I wake in? I'm ready to go back. Let's just, let's just go back. I'm ready to go back! The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. More explore too late. Everything goes dark and you die. A seething vessel, bring the wraith to her. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Well. I wonder what we should do this time. I wonder... What other options? Last choice is up to you. Maybe forgive. Make her convince you? Team up. Change mind, Midway. Accept the ghost wife. That'd be you make nice. Make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning, before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't nope. Don't believe a word she says. Silent, no knife. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. 
The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Holding tab will skip dialogue, you know. Yeah, there's also a skip button, but we're hearing this for the last time, so why not savor it? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just... No knife, and we don't... we don't say anything. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't mm. let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Just continue down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. Thorn bros, we can make it? I wonder what that is. We tried leaving in the forest. Yeah, we tried that first. Down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I surprisingly have been very invested in this. I think this is one of those games where you're either into it or you're not. That's just, that's just, it is what it is. Cause it's too, it requires too much investment, like mentally. Where if you're just kind of eh about it, then it's too, it's too much to care for. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Hmm. Well, we can't be silent any longer. Can we just say I'll see what we can do? What do you guys think? One? Talk? Talk? Everyone's saying talk. Okay... What's your name? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I was in here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up. And it isn't worth the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Go back upstairs and retrieve the blade without saying another word. I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. Alright, okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Try her name? Oh. She pauses carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Does she not have a name? Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? So is princess your name? Keep her locked? Is princess your name? Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. Hmm. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. That's pretty weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. Hmm. Hmm. Keep asking. Journey, literally. 
I don't see what that has to do with anything. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. She's probably been eating rats. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Um... What do you guys think next? Humans don't like revealing their name, but she's lying their own mission. To save her. One? We're locked down here for a reason. Mmm, keep her locked away. She's literally timeless. Keep asking questions? Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but... You don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Hmm. It's not like you'd believe me. I sent here to slay you. But I don't think you're actually dangerous. But I wanted to see you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Hmm. Two? A lot of twos. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? They have not. I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, which is why I don't think you're actually dangerous. Remain silent. Too? I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. What? She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Four, too late. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. We haven't actually seen her destroy any of the worlds, have we? If anything, it seems like we're the ones that destroy the world whenever we kill her. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed here for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit, and get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Press all repeats. One. Save. 
That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. I mean, what are you going to do about it? Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> Sigh! One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. No, oh, she's getting bitchy. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. What is it your time of the month or something? <laughs> I have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Retrieve the blade? Okay, let's get you out of here. I'll lock her in the basement. Ooh, what are we thinking, boys? Three? We haven't done that before. I am seeing a lot of twos. A lot of twos and threes. Hmm. Two wands out. But what's gonna happen if we choose three? I feel like... I feel like we're just gonna get so bored we kill ourselves again. Two, but then betrayal? Two might be different this time, too. Three is the last option. Ah, uh, let's lock her in the basement! I think this is some kind of fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. Hmm. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. I think she's upset. You turn your back to the princess and make your way back to the stairs. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Either way, she dropped the mask, didn't she? You can still grab the blade and get back down here. No, we're seeking the plan and locking her away. Oh, that's relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. Should've picked two? No witch run. One? It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. We'll do it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricade it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. I'm surprised the narrator didn't lock us down there with her and then throw the blade at us and be like, it's you or her. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. So, with her, is it the more evil we think she is, the more evil she becomes? Like the more we have fear of her, the more the more she distorts like into a fear. Something to be afraid of. Terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a night. Seems like it. As she violently rattles the door. You do your best to shut her out of your mind. Whatever you think she is, she becomes. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Uh -oh. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Send me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So, all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess, you're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. All three? Just ignore her. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop. You just don't pay attention to her. <laughs> no, 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 I can't hear you! No, 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 I can't hear you, idiot! Just out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. 
You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Uh -oh. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Well, well. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? I think she's about to kill us, bros. Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Mm. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One side to fall at a Bad time. Touch! Cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? Ah! It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. I could have had it all, everything Witch Bros. Dark, and you die. Is the Witch End really that good? The Nightmare. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. No, it's not. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't, I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Voice of the paranoid. He's just like me for real, for real? You gain a voice every time you die, then who is the hero since you have his voice from the start? The interior I don't know. of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. I mean, we have the voice of the hero from the start. There's kind of like a parallel, a little bit. I don't know if it's intentional or if I'm reading too much into it. But, so there's chapter one, right? And you have the voice of the hero, and you don't remember the previous loops. Then there's chapter two, where you remember the previous loop. And the narrator doesn't remember. And then on the third loop, the narrator does remember. And well, you gain another voice. Hmm. Is that a shadow in the window? Oh yeah, there's little shadows here. They're kind of cute. The narrator never remembers. He remembers in the third one, right? Can go up to chapter four. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. He slipped up and revealed oh, that he hold remembered. On. What happened to the door? It's just an empty frame. No, he doesn't. He just tells you that it's possible. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Every voice is the hero from the previous death. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. 
You can say anything but the mirror on the wall? Take the blade. Enter the basement. Look by the right hand window. I didn't notice the right hand window. I noticed this window has a little gauche. He also slips up about the mirror. He's aware of it. Four. No knife? Oh, we should have taken the knife. Oh yeah, there is one in the right window as well. Unarmed, it's going to do us any favors. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. Uh. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. They stare suck, yes they the do. Her oh. cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Oh, ho, ho, really? She must have you confused with someone else. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter, we need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan, I'm just gonna kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs or continue down the stairs in silence. We'd be nice to her. Last one? Three? Void? Let's just fuck off into the void. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I was curious. I don't know. Falling into an infinite void seemed better than going down the stairs and dying. I'm just scared. I'm just Congratulations. curious. Congratulations. You really lucked out. Of all the things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite possibly the best outcome you could have gotten. <sighs> You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Uh, I think we should go, uh, center. She could be anywhere. Start weaving in and out. For us to hide, we're completely exposed. Save. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at, like it's an ordinary basement. I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Oh, you're going to die again, buddy. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Neener, neener, neener. Go left, go right, do nothing. Go back the way you came. Two, three, four, three, do nothing. I'm just gonna sit here. It's best to do nothing. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. Well, yeah, it kind of helped that I didn't do anything. I just stood here. Your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? It's almost like. You want me to get you? Maybe I do. to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your Holy begins fuck. to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lung. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, 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 lungs, 
liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. <laughs> well, you just keep repeating that endlessly. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? What are you doing, Chilly Billy? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing that again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? Uh, I think I want to interrupt you some more, idiot! You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs, liver, nerves. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. What about Smoocher? How are we supposed to do that? We don't have a weapon. The way out of here is nowhere to be seen. That isn't my fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is because fighting her isn't an option, right? Then you should get looking, shouldn't you? Why don't you finish me off? What good am I to you lie? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was in here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? But I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. If I you win, I'll let you leave. Leave together or run. Work together. Let's try working together. We don't have to be enemies. Would you look at that? You're suggesting exactly what I want. Somebody's ahead of the curve. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you are here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and death doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Then, then let's leave. Together, let's work together. Can you, can you stop killing me though? I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Damn, bitch. Okay, let's leave. Let's get out of here together. Yeah? Yeah? What? No! I knew you'd come around. Oh, this is going to be so wonderful. No, I'm not going to let this happen. I, Before you can utter another word, your body stops moving. Do you think you could just wrest control away from us? This body's barely functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Shit. Shit. Lungs, liver, nerves. Ah. With a flick of the princess's wrist, the stairs slide back into place. I can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone to torment and oblivion. Come on, That's nerves. fucking loud! You don't want to be stuck down here. The princess glides onto the stairs and beckons you to follow. If only you had a weapon, this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. But we don't. We've already made our choice. We can There's so many. Grab it on the way out. Oh. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the suggestions for the time being. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> right. Step onto the stairs and follow the princess. You step onto the basement stairs, following the princess as she ascends. Pins and needles punctuate your every step, an uncomfortable and constant reminder of your mortality. Grab it! Do not take knife! Is this really worth it? At least, it's a choice. 
that doesn't justify anything. A terrible choice is still terrible. Make sure you keep up. We wouldn't want you to fall. Well, I, it's okay, I just respond. You crane your neck and look behind you. There is nothing there. Never. The princess reaches the top of the stairs and taps on the door. Her head twists back in your direction, watching you with dead eyes as the way out creaks open. Don't forget that your pristine blade is still on the other side. You can still no make knife. this right. You can still save everyone. You can still save yourself from becoming her tormented pet. There's no harm in us having a weapon. All it does is give us more options, and we are dangerously low on those right now. Um... Have you considered that maybe you could operate the autonomic nervous system for a bit? Everyone is trying to manipulate us, and I can only do so many things at once to keep us alive. Yeah, the voice of the paranoid, he's, he's just like me for real, for real. Uh, heart? Um... Liver? Shoulders, knees, and toes. Your body violently as you regain consciousness on the floor of the cabin. No, no, no! You're doing it all wrong! You're supposed to do it like this. Heart. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. I guess I have to do everything around here, don't I? Heart, lungs. There we go. Back with me where you belong. I thought you might have decided to break yourself just to spite me. It's better for you that you didn't. No, the shadows are still in the in the now thing. We can get back to no windows. Business. For starters, we won't need this where we're going. The princess plucks the blade from the floor and tosses it through the door behind you. It vanishes into the inky black of the basement, never to be seen again. Guess we're not stabbing her in the back. I guess not. I'm going to fix myself a stiff drink. If I'm about to watch you hand the world to her on a silver platter, I'd rather not be sober. The narrator is the worst and dungeon master ever. You open the door. There's nothing else for us to do. The doorknob twists. Let your tears loose upon the world. Revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. You bastard. Actually don't. You've largely doomed your liver. Nerves. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to ruin it. You bitch. But it's so cold, too. It's itching against my skin. Huh? The princess, exhausted, slumps to the ground. Why is it so cold? It looks like a flower as she disappears. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. She's Memory gone. returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. It's calling us. And not in a good way. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. Oh, where are Kenku? You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure. A faint and veiled in shadow. Oh, faint and veiled in shadow. Just beyond the reflection. Are you I me? A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image and the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Whoa, trippy! So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? 
I'm sorry. I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me, or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same you all along? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is it, place? Where are we? Or destroy the mirror. There's so many questions! Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Oh, save? One? Ask the questions? The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Oh, bros, I don't think we can ask all the questions! What are you? Are you oh, something I'm like me? like you. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. There is Tulpas. What is the princess? Did you make her too? If you made me, then what am I? What is the princess? Yeah, I'm curious what the princess is. She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die. She becomes that which others perceive her to be. <gasps> but an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. I called it! I call I can't believe I can't believe I noticed that. But I guess it is pretty obvious. I met you many times. Have you been the same you all along? How did you die? Why did you make her a princess? Of all the things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? How am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? We just stay here together and leave the people out there alone. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? I've called this place a construct. What is it supposed to do? Well... Presumably, the construct is supposed to contain her, right? Why did you make her a princess? The last one? Eh. Ah. Let her out. Ask what you are. Yeah, I think I'm more con curious what I am, because I feel like... The answer to the construct thing is presumably obvious. Um, if you made me, then what am I? The long quiet, the god I made to rid the world of death. Huh? Wait, but wait. So every time I return to the long quiet, what? Why would you want to rid the world of death? How am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? What the fuck? We are the true end of the world. How did you die? Why did you make her a princess? Are you a god or were you a god? painfully mortal, a witness to the end of days. I held the fear of death in my heart, 
and saw oblivion threaten the very memory of everything I knew and everyone I loved. I needed to do something. So I made you. And I made her. And I made this place to hold you both. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think everyone do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else know about us? I don't want to be a god, I want to be me. A god I always knew I was special. Others like you, you've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? I don't think so. I think it's been the same narrator. Um... Anything to say for yourself? People out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. I can't tell if he's talking about, like, the concept of death? Why now? Where's this bitching? I... She is death. Both Pippa, both? Um... If she's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can't I just will her into something small? I met you many times, have you been the same all along? I wasn't supposed to see this. Oh god, we're running out of options! Not just death, but transformation in general. He fears death and wants to destroy it, that's the vibe I'm getting. You've called this place a construct? What is it supposed to do? We already learned that. Why would you want to rid the world of death? If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. This guy's a fucking asshole! We're literally- we're literally him! And we have died multiple times! And we've watched her die multiple times. And we've killed her multiple times. I'm pretty sure death is good, actually. Important, even. If that's your belief, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you can't grasp the abject horror of dying. You are such a fucking piece of shit. Yo, I fucking hate this guy, chat. I fucking hate this guy. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What? No. Reload save, but then... But then that takes away the gravity of it. If you were meant to hear all the answers, you would just... You would just hear all the answers. There's a funny parallel if we just reload the stage. Are we are we no different than him? Uh, avoiding change, avoiding transformation, avoiding consequence. We 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 simply revert things back to the way that is comfortable for us in order to avoid uh, consequence. Blah, 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 blah. Um Um how does he intend for me to destroy an abstract concept? If she's an echo, then is not the only way to kill us, or to kill her, to kill both of us? Right? Doesn't this, doesn't this kind of tie into what she was saying? Where nothing cannot exist on its own? Like the only, the only way to get rid of her is to get rid of us. With some amount of difficulty. But you're an abstract concept yourself. 
It would have been preferable if you had destroyed her within the confines of the construct, but when I shaped the two of you, I made sure that you were strong enough to see things through. Whoa. Um. 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 Second to last? You made us out of what? What were we shaped from? I'm guessing he's just gonna say like himself, right? The cycle of life and death. The endless pattern of creation and destruction. I tore it in two and shaped the fraying threads into you and her. Ah, uh, that works. Death of the author. Run out of questions. I guess we're more abstract than that. I guess I was imagining that we were like a literal construct. And he... In order to avoid death, and in order to avoid change, took those parts of himself and turned them into a construct that could affect all of reality? Lie? Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I think you're out of time! I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good, rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Lie, rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to think about what she thinks about all this. Say nothing and watch an end. He can see through it when we lie, though. Spite him? I'd rather spite him. I think. But I think, wouldn't the uncertainty eat at him more? Right? This is what he fears so much. So we could spite him. And we could give him time to cope. Like that. Or we could just let that paranoia persist. Say nothing. I've said my piece, and my time is up. Bye, bitch. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As a final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. A terrifying vessel. Bring the nightmare to her. I've seen anything from the Lord. Remember, his good ending was nothing. No change, no death, an eternity of sitting in a cabin. That is... that is very true. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. It seems like she's gonna find me! I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Oh. I've missed you too. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm no long quiet, but I don't know what that really means. Or what happens now. I missed you, wife! She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response, and then patiently waits for you to continue. You know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him. I'm the long quiet, but I don't know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Excuse you? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. 
I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? There's so many stories left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I lit out an en if I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess. Slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. Save? Um... Three? Leave. Braxo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. I think we pissed her off! Ah, oh, fuck! Fear pretends to protect us from loss. To fear death protects from losing a body. To fear ruin protects from losing status. To fear rejection protects from being known. But losing a body is contained within having a body. Losing status is contained within having status. Being known is contained within being conscious. It is in the nature of all things to transform. To go from known to hidden to known again. But when the ceaseless impermanence of all things strips away the finality of that illness, what remains of fear? Is it a shelter protecting you from itself? Or is it a shelter protecting itself from you? You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. That wasn't a rejection of fear. You broke me to your will. You wanted to make the world suffer. You act as if you're above it all, but you're not. I'm not afraid anymore. Even if I'm not afraid now. The fear of others is real. We can't uphold the harm that everyone suffers just because we're beyond it. I won't engage with this. Um... I'm not scared no more! Then you are one step closer to being free of your bondage. you out of fear and I'm not afraid of you anymore. That is why I resist you now. I fear you now more than ever. I was glad to set you free. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Up the fight early and surrender. Remain silent. I say I was glad to set you free. We're, we're, we're overcoming, we're overcoming our, our fear. We're, we're transforming into something new. We are embracing the change that she embodies. Then set me free again. Set both of us free. I won't leave with you, not until you see things from my perspective. I'm ready 
I want to leave with you. Stop the fight early and surrender. I don't mean to fight with her. I just want to understand. Wrong? Two? If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. Your vampire tries to sink into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. I was blinded by emotion, we both know that. I want that feeling back, that feeling never left me. I won't engage with violence. I get it, there's no need. That feeling never left me. No? Two? Oh yeah, I'm the day. Then there's no need for you to fight with me now. Whenever you're ready, we can leave together. Hand in loving hand. I don't- I don't- more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. I don't understand what I'm fighting with her about. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, you still have who you started with. A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. Signation versus unknown. You aren't fighting with her from her perspective, only yours. You need to show her people matter? So she doesn't destroy the world, literally? I am not my body, but I feel my body suffer. I'm not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. I don't fear death, not anymore. But what am I, if I'm not my- not a body? I won't engage with violence. Um... I want to say three again, but it seems like that's always wrong. Two? And yet bodies change and consciousness goes on. The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's. But the thread of existence remains strong through it all. As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. Okay, so I'm curious, did he cause this? Did he cause this or did he actually prevent, like... Like, the apocalypse? There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? This one... this one sounds like him. This one sounds like the narrator. Well, it's not wrong. What do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? Never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. This one seems good. This seems good. Oh, he caused it, but it was inevitable. This one? What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. I am 14 and this is deep the game. Bro, I think it's just sincere in exploring ideas and and has a very like 
abstract and Lovecraftian theming. I don't, I don't, I, bro, I, the fucking game is fine. Why are you, why are you, why are you, why, 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 what is your issue? What is your issue? Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Which hero are you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone. Where's everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed to be here. I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror or say nothing. Asking questions always lands me in trouble. Oh no. One or two? I really want to know the answer, but I don't want to lock myself out of two. That's the right questions. It's good to be here. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Save? I'm ready. No, I can do this on my own. Say nothing. I'm ready! Then let's go. A nice way to make use of the concept art. And here we are. Stranger I'd say beginnings. We were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Achievement: Strange beginnings beget strange endings. Do you need me to describe things? No. That'd be nice. No. A comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, you made it here too. We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. I'd like that description now, if you don't mind, for old time's sake. Is it just the three of us? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the narrator really gone? Take the blade, enter the basement. Look out the windows. I don't think she's gone. Did anyone else make it? Us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. And I've been here since you left me here. No hard <laughs> feelings, I'm just glad you're back to see this through. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's the narrator dead gone. silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Really goes to show how much you've grown up. Killing somebody across every iteration of reality just by existing. I don't even know what I would do if I were in the driver's seat with that kind of power. Good riddance. I don't actually know how I feel about him being gone. It's funny, after everything he put us through, I'm kind of sad to see him go. Good riddance. Really? I'm gonna miss the guy. Yeah, right. He really put us through hell, didn't he? Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, describe yeah, it one more time, for old time's sake. The interior of the cabin is... Well, it's not really a cabin, is it? It's that terrifying blend of everything. Only it doesn't feel so terrifying anymore. It's still shaped like a cabin, it's just different in places. There's still walls, a door to the basement, a table, that knife. Windows. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really included the windows in his cabin descriptions, did he? He didn't! He mentioned the windows when we broke them. He mentioned curtains. No mirror this time, either. I think it did whatever it needed to do. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. I don't think we do. I don't think we need. I, is it is it corny, Chad? Is it corny to say that I don't? I don't. I don't think violence is the answer here. Like, doesn't that doesn't that just perpetuate what she wants? No blade, it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. If that's what you think is best, then that's what you think is best. I'm just along for the ride at this point. What do you think is best? Those winding stairs again. Oh, these ones are fragmented. Now there's though. only one way forward. 
Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah, it was a real mess. Stopped being fun pretty quick. It's okay. You can come down. The stairs won't bite. Not this time. I don't think they bit us any of the times. I don't know what you want from us, but let's talk. All of us. Maybe we can help you find your way. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. Continue down the stairs. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. I thought that was hair. Or weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. He's not chained anymore. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So you didn't bring the knife. After all the lives we've lived together and all the lives we haven't, you somehow found a way to move outside of the script. Are we missing a page? Hmm, sit with them. I never got the chance to talk to you before you were taken away. Not you, at least. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I don't want to be a god. Are you the same as you are out there? What if we just leave? I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. Let's talk to her. It's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of... her. But we weren't very good at it. I don't think a conversation with us then would have been very insightful. That's probably why we were taken away. That's all we had to offer you. It was time to change again. Hmm. After all we did, she's just forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. I don't want to be a god. Be the same as you are out there. Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. That's kind of like us, isn't it? Yeah. We really are the same. Hmm. What if we leave? I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. One? You think so? Hard agree. Seems overrated. Too much pressure. But that's what you've always been. Even now. You can't put aside such an important part of who you are. And neither can we. So, you might as well embrace it. I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. No? One? Does it matter? I feel like they both would leave to the, lead to the same thing. I'm saying a lot of ones, though. He'd hate that. So you should do it. Even if he isn't here anymore, it's the spirit of the thing. <laughs> Fuck that guy, even though he's mm -hmm. dead. But what would happen if we left with you? Would we exist inside ourselves? Are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you? I don't think we're gonna exist at all anymore. Is that what you want? Take their hand in yours. I've always wanted to leave with you, but I didn't like being a god. I just want to walk through that cabin door as we are, just you and me. Not knowing is exactly why I want it. We know, we knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want this. Doesn't matter what it means, what matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. After so many iterations, so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again, leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. But the voice of the hero is part of us. I think we've done our job. Are you two going to be okay alone? Thanks for everything. Are you sure you don't want to come? Can we talk with the voices in our head longer? We're done fighting. I guess, I guess it's not 
literally that they're staying. It's just... We're not alone. We have each other. We're tucking them back into our brain. And I'm sure we'll find the others. Okay, I'll leave with the princess. Hands clasped together, you and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend. A comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You feel their hand tremble in yours. They're unsure of themselves for the first time in their long and short existence. They have no part to play anymore, and they know this, yet they still are. And then they cross the room to the door outside, pulling you excitedly with them. We can feel the threads of all the stories we've told together, all pulling us back down the stairs and into those chains where we know the outcome of everything that could ever come to pass. It's comfortable there, but it's confining. We want more. We want whatever might be on the other side of this door. Something new that we'll experience together with someone who exists outside of us. Ah, she wants to be transformed! With someone who can see us in a way we can never see ourselves. Aww, she doesn't want to be an echo. I love you. Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what's going to be what it's going to be like out there. Open the door. One? We're seeing a lot of ones, and chat. We love you too. Ah! We're opening the door together. And what happens next? Whatever it is, you'll face it together. Achievement. X Magazine Dollars. So how could she sleep with four heads? Maybe in like one of those massage chair things, the ones the ones you see in movies where it's like there's always the, the, the camera angle from like below where they put their head into like the little little neck brace thing. Hmm. That's a cute game. I think I I think I accidentally locked myself into into a silly Um ending, I guess, by continuously trying to dodge going to the cabin. Good ending on 333, good stream, get the love! Our song, finish the game, the good ending doesn't count. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for playing, as an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you! If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Huh. Okay. Explore, join the Discord! Join our mailing list! Join the subreddit! Follow us somewhere else. Make your playlist, or play our other game, or return to main menu. This is boxing, Dolores. You missed the witch! The cat girl ending! The cat girl ending! Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was neat. That was a neat little game. Pretty long. Run on four hours and fifteen minutes. How long is the Miss Super Chat list? Mogu Mogu ending. We're not going for any more endings, chat. That was already... That was already pretty long. How'd she get the other shackle off? I think... Her removing the first shackle is what... Causes the upset, right? That makes, um... Maybe I'm still misunderstanding this. But I think her, like, breaking the first shackle is why the narrator creates you, right? To, like, kind of contain her. Um... To try and, like, stop her. And then when she takes the other shackle off, when the other shackle is removed, that's because... she's ascended. She's beyond you. The other shackle is for you! Or that! Maybe the other shackle is for you. Four hours is a fairly fast run? Really? One of the routes hints that it's yours! Okay, so I was off. Uh, okay, can I get the Mr. Protect list? 
Like I know it's Dolores tried for the other endings would ruin the experience, you think so? Plants the Galilee thing. Can Dolores much love and respect to Jonathan Sims and Nicole Goodnight for their voice acting? They bring so much life into this game, it's incredible. Notification thing. Like Lars, good game, but it was lacking in the incest and cannibalism department. See, can't do thing. Like fun game. Thank you. you. Might want to give the Magnus archives a listen at some point. The narrator in this plays the main guy. Hmm. Remember, Pippa, she can't leave with your corpse. Hmm. Hmm. Pippa, ghost girlfriend. Oh my god. No ghost girlfriend route! Alright. Background noise, thank you for the two dollars. Can't forget the past, rabbit. I'm gonna make myself big. Pour that up. Can we hide the UI even here? We can't. It's a shame. Um... Mr. Yerling, Vidlars, please don't unlist videos. I want to be able to still tell people to do their reps. Stop pouting, Vidlars. The Andy and Lily Pippa voice acting was god here. Well, the handling of the two dollars. More views in the feed stream. I think so, yeah. Bear roll... Well, that thing, Vidlars. I'd say part of the reason that stream is so popular is your voice acting. You did a great job. Also, the incest. Oh, thank you, thank you. Girl thing, Dolores. I'm still confused. Enjoyed it, though. Barbie Grizzly thing, Dolores. Rebo against the narrator. Break the conditioning. I had shit I was supposed to record, like, two days ago. And I keep doing... I keep end up doing longer streams that inhibit me from doing it. Joshua Cohen thing, Fred Dolores. Unexpectedly a great watch. Girl thing, Dolores. I'm still confused. Enjoyed it, though. Yeah, there are still some things that I don't... That I don't... Entirely understand. Like, I can guess, right? I can guess. But, um... Put the list off then, but then... What if, like, it's gonna take me forever to get to it. Kinda listening, Red Lords. If Fallen Shadow decides to play this game, don't spoil it for her. I won't! Night Protector of Chuba, Zingo Tendalore. Speaking of mummified Egyptian mammals... Or animals... The oldest named pet in history is an ancient Egyptian priest's cat named Nedjem. Her name literally translates to Sweetie. Your thing, but there's a lot of different routes. You'll still get plenty of enjoyment from watching other people's playthrough afterwards, too. Mm. You guys should go check out Ember and Jelly's playthroughs if you guys want to see other endings. I've been Petrash Killing. My Dolores, hello from Japan. Pippa, background noising. Dolores, Pippa picked the most British game to play. Background noising. Dolores is fish. Pippa's narrator. No. Just a thing for Dolores. If VTuber princesses are anything to go by, they enjoy being hit with fists instead of knives. Tell me, grin her drunk husband like she's dizzy. Mr. Rothing, but Laura's just like Lumi skipping every Jekka line. Pippa keeps skipping the contrarian voice because it reminds her too much of herself. Shut up. I got noise. Thank you for the... Oh, I'm covering the alerts. I got noise, Angel Laura's Pippa's the real contrarian. Tony sorry, the Angel Laura's we're too dumb. We need slow text mode too. Dr. S. Shenanigans, thank you for the two dollars. But Pippa, he has a very nice voice. Let him speak. And we doesn't. And noise heck! Thank you for the fine dollars. This is the Princess Bride with Stanley Parable narrator, and our sarcastic hero is the Lizard Man from Star Trek. This art film needs a body cam tangent. We were at Kenku! Fun one, they were Dolores. Pippa, what's the name of this game? It's in the stream title. It's in acting, Dolores. Can you recap your rant? Beowulf, thing, Dolores. Pippa, I forgot what happened. Can I have a recap, please? What's the name of fine dollars? Pippa, you were right about the mirror. It only shows up in the versions of Chapter 2. People saying it is meant to be there in Chapter 1 are wrong. Yeah, we learned that. Trick a point thing with fine dollars, is it just me or does the princess kind of sound like Kirsha? She kind of does. Background noising, rich dollars. Pippa was a princess all time. Best bad nothing, fine dollars. I think I need to try playing this game with some ahem bottled help. Sentinel Rex, thing with dollars. Ah, the IRL Pippa POV route. Thought of everything. That's the thing, dollars. Pippa, my ship, I'm right, game in, let's go! Anime document thing, fine dollars. Hello. Pickle cucumber thing, fine dollars. MC and narrator lacks the power of post nut clarity. Shaking my head. Notification thing with Dolores, do what you want, she's hot. I was into thing with 1,000 crocodiles, she needs these. Maximum blue dude thing with Dolores, mirror only pops up in chapter 2. And, and up, also, mommy. Echo noise thing with Dolores, which way, western pip. John Garrison thing with Dolores, all shall love me in despair. Echo noise thing with Dolores, it's too late for that. Each buffalo thing with Dolores, we wanted to fix her, but she fixed us. June bug thing with Dolores, she's one ugly thing. Did we already see this part? Did we already see this? Are, are sitting here like this? Am I crazy? Am I misremembering? Lord Commissar Spartan thing. Dolores, a true martyr's death. Ave Imperator. Yes? Okay. Rexa thing. Dolores, the, the mound consumes. No, Rex thing. Dolores, that face when you realize the voices are just chat. Next Angel thing. We're fine. Dolores, Gundam Wing taught me that women find it attractive when you threaten to unalive them. 
I'll get chicken thing for 1,000 yen. Magane, kawaii, lovely. Uh, sausage boots thing for 5 Canadians. We can fix her. Big boy, bebop thing for 5 dollars. This is the perfect schizo game for the schizo rabbit. Turn on applicable thing for the 2 dollars. When is she auditioning for Phase Connect? Sausage boots thing for the 5 dollars. Mushreamer. Hold iron bottom thing for the 2 dollars. You can skip smitten. Please skip smitten. When I start thinking about dollars, I find it funny that one of the only Steam guides out there is for a romance route. Lord Brown Bear thinking dollars, so it looks like the voices are former heroes. Beowulf thinking for the two dollars. The mission is to kill the princess, not kiss her. Like your thinking dollars, maybe something was worth it. Random stealth thinking for two dollars. Our arm looks like a baguette. Sex euphemism thinking dollars. Unprotected hand holding. How scandalous! Big boy bebop thinking dollars. The universe stole our wife. Background noise thinking for dollars. Lack of sex has withered you. One guy from bar, thank you for the five dollars. Hi, Pippa, first time donator. Wanted to ask any ideas for new merch anytime soon. Um, I asked management recently, just today actually, about a piece of merchandise, but I don't know if I should say what it is. Private Canning, two thousand ones. Who is your favorite skits? I mean, Topa. Do you like genius income, BB? Got your first Shipkin Shiba merch a couple days ago. I'm making some arts and craft projects based on it. Look forward to it this weekend. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Um... Ah! Snibbles! Um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I still wonder what the meanings or implications were behind... Every time we look into the mirror and we saw a different version of ourselves, Right? We saw one version. Like, when we got the romance route with her, where we walk out the door with her, we get the, the withering route? What did I mean by that? Why were we withering? You don't want to know. Fractured mind and body. She also has different versions of her. Oh, well, it was just showing you how far you were to the ending. You were completing yourself along with her. It's always the same. Okay. Alright. Alexa's thing with Dolores. Turns out she was our world. Uh, silly Wonker. Sagawa thing with Dolores. You will own nothing and you will like it. Same as her, you change with a different story. Skeleton VA thing for Dolores, this game is nothing but Isekai all the way down. Silly Wonker, Sagawa thing for Dolores, base taste. Pippa? Did you kill her? We didn't kill her. A pickle coupon word and give her $2, best version. God, I completely fucked up the pronunciation of cucumber. Cyclops thing for the $20, it's my birthday today. Thanks for the fun streams. It makes my days more tolerable. Pupple love. Happy birthday, Cyclops, if you got this far. Also, if Melee Man is still here. Happy birthday, Melee Man! Happy birthday, Melee Man! Happy birthday, dear Melee Man! Happy birthday to you! Unless you're not here, in which case, fuck you for not sticking around. Sergeant Black Day for $5, what a heartless move! Mahomet Day for $5, gold is literally me for real, for real. Uh, well, Day for $1, Wasting Day for $2, the arm is different in the demo, more feathers. Background noise Day for $2, damn backseat drivers! I enjoy picking choices with chat. Sometimes we agree on choices, sometimes we don't. John Garrison, thank you for None of you seem to understand. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me! Uh, Himawari Kapetsa, thank you for the 333. To be fair, she has a lot of hands to take her destiny and do. Uh, Big Boy Bebop, thank you for Dolores. Go with your gut, Pippa. Um, Helen Jaglu, thank you for Dolores. Cyclops is still here. Happy birthday, dear Cyclops! Happy birthday, dear Cyclops! Happy birthday, dear Cyclops! Happy birthday to you! My eyes are burning. It's because I rubbed them. My eyes! Hi, Liam Juggalo! I think you went to the Why is there not an option to set the cannon, the cabin on fire? Big boy, be wanting to go with your gut, Pippa. I could think Dolores, Pippa, when her eyes do the thing. Funny enough. Panned Apple, thank you for finding Dolores. I thought the voice of the hero was the voice of reason or something like that. Um... I could be completely misunderstanding this, but I feel like the voice of the hero... ...is the voice of the original us, I guess? The us that the narrator created... ...and intended to do the right thing? Through? Right? Because he starts with us. We don't... we don't die and then gain him. He just starts with us. And what the narrator was trying to do was he was trying to be a hero. He was trying to save the world. You know? 
So I think... I think the hero... ...was the original us. If anything. But then there was... ...the original us... ...from before the narrator ever gave us... ...our own... ...body like this. Before he put us in the construct. And that's what ended up pulling through. I think. Uh, quite a thing of my Which end is the witch end? The one with the witch? And which witch is the witch in the witch end? Private caning where the 2000 wands. Windows. Those are boots saying for $10. If you can't handle me at my organ failure, you don't deserve me at my ghostly, dumpy climbing stairs. What the fuck? Uh, can you anything for the ten dollars? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of it is a cabin. And that end is a Pippa. You're here to support her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. What an interesting game. The player is as multifaceted as the princess. Yeah. Yeah, so the narrator made the princess, right? And he made her a princess. And he made us the hero. Background noising, Dolores. Pippa found the one bird she hates. A pickled cucumber thing, Dolores. Explore. Were you the one that hid the Lego piece during the mini sub build stream? Out of occasion, England Dolores. Lol, she called you a bottom. Soon I think, England Dolores. Pippa, the god of nothing, the god of submissive. Lance the Galilee, think, England Dolores. Come on, Pippa, summon the power of every depressed philosophy student. Shatter this narrow perception of personhood. Spacklebox, England Dolores. She's beginning to believe. Mary Silconti, think, England Dolores. I'm impressed how, even though I've already seen this ending, there are variations that I haven't seen, and even more endings aside from this. Good game. Uh, who else? Were there any other streamers that got this? Were there... were there any other streamers that got this ending? I think the hero is the original's ideal and hope. I think the hero is the narrator's ideal and hope. And I also think that's why, like, he gets kind of left behind. No idea? Sentinel Rex saying you were the five dollars. The hero is just an archetype. He is the ultimate stereotype given life. He is the embodiment of I want to do the right thing the right way. The hero is probably the narrator before the narrator witnessed the heat death of the universe. I don't think so, because then I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Is there racing for the three thirty three? Congrats on beating the game. That was a fun one. I feel like the player has aspects of the narrator, right? I think that's why we share a a similar body, and he appears as our reflection. But I. Uh, he said that he... he... Tore apart... Like, the fabric of the universe and rewove it... Into multiple strings, right? Into multiple... Into multiple... Ribbons. So I think... I think we... Come on, we took on part of him. We absorbed part of him. But... We're still... We've always been our own thing. Dynamic Doodle, thank you for the five dollars. Surprisingly good and comfy stream. Ironically! His desire for a lack of change. His... his... Him trying to stop transformation. Ended up transforming us. And we ended up escaping anyways. John Garrison, thank you, I enjoyed it. Thanks, Pits. Yeah, he was afraid to die. Alrighty. Well... That calls it for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. I enjoyed this game. I thought this was I thought this was fun. Um, I am going to send you off somewhere else. Um, let's see here. What's a cringe? What's a cringe? Um. Who would tell me anything, my dollars? Every time a hero shows up, only after narrator sets the scene. He's an archetype that comes into being to fit the narrative narrator set. Hmm. Just like how the narrator made the princess. I think. I think. I think. I think we're both on to the same thing here. Let's see here. Um. Is anybody else playing this? I wish I could raid, like, old rooms. Old streams. And then I could... I could have you guys... Like, watch, like, Embers play through or something. But it doesn't look like that's an option. 
I do see other waiting rooms for this game. Um. Hmm. Now I'm just gonna sleep. Err. Well, this is another VTuber. She's not online right now. But I don't think anybody in Face Connect is online right now, anyways. Um. Ah, uh, schedule. Write chinchilla. I can write chinchilla. It looks like Eoi might be? But she's on Twitch. Dun 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 dun. I can write chinchilla. Alright. Thank you guys! I hope you have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow! What's a great?